If you ever need to join values from different cells into one in Excel, this video is for you. Here you can see a very straightforward way to merge cell values by row, by column or into one cell. Merging row by row is probably one of the most common ways of combining the contents of your cells. So if you have all different parts of names in different columns and you want to have a full name in one cell on each row, here is what you do. Choose a range with the names you want to join. Open the add-in by clicking on its icon. If you have Excel versions up to 2003, you will see it on the toolbar and under ablebiz.com menu item. If you have Excel 2007 or 10, you can see the icon on the ablebiz.com ribbon tab. This is the Merge Cells Wizard dialog box. The first thing you choose is how to combine the cells. Select the row by row option from the drop down list here. Next you choose a separator that will divide the merged values. It can be one of the standard separators like a line break, a comma, a space or you can enter any other separator or their combination in the other field right here. You can also choose where to place the results after the merge. When you join row by row it can be the left or the right cell of the row. Make your choice by picking the necessary option. There are a number of additional options to benefit from. You can delete the values in the selected cells after the merge. Just tick Clear the contents of selected cells checkbox. You can combine the cell areas and have the merged cells joined into a big one by selecting Merge all areas in the selection. If some people in the list don't have a middle name, you can avoid the space in the results by ticking Skip empty cells option. You can wrap text by choosing Wrap text option here if you like. If you want to keep a copy of the existing worksheet as it is, choose to create a backup copy of the worksheet. After the merge you will get a resulting worksheet and a copy of your original data in the same workbook. Now simply click the merge button to finish up. Here are the results. You see all the names in one cell on each row and as we decided to delete the values we merged, the last two columns are empty. But if you think you need to merge them in a different way, here is the backup copy of your data. To join the cells column by column, like here we have parts of shipping addresses, we select the addresses that will be merged separately, open the add-in and this time pick column by column. Choose a separator, line break would be the best here and the location for the results is the top cell of each selected range. As for other options, we can actually choose to merge all areas in the selection and wrap text. Click merge and we are ready to print out addresses. When you need to get multiple values from different cells in one cell, like here we have a couple of rows and columns with order numbers, we select the orders we want in one cell and open the add-in. We pick in one cell from the Merge Selected Cells options. Now we'll select Other as a separator and enter Comma and Space. Let's go for the top left corner to place the results and choose other options that we need. The add-in has remembered our recent choice. The only thing we don't need is to merge the areas, so we unselect it and click on the Merge button. And all the orders are in one cell. We hope that this video was helpful. You can always try Merge Cells Wizard by downloading a fully functional trial version of it on our website. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at